best thing about the Corps is the people. It's the kind of people that get in. They want that challenge. They want something different, something extra. Ross, my name, sir. What? Ross, sir. I think one thing that helps people to become successful is being able to work with people. See, as an underclassman, we are held responsible to meet upperclassmen. We come up and we call what's called whipping out. You stick your hand out and you, as a freshman, you say, Hi, Dave, this Joseph is my name, sir. And what you do is you tell them where you're from, what you're taking, and as a result, well, I've got 2,000 guys in the Corps of Cadets that I know automatically. Texas A&M, they offer more than just an education. They offer an opportunity to become a leader and a motivator. What a great learning experience and opportunity it is. What a great training ground it is as far as working with people. And how self-rewarding it is in getting a job done and doing it right. Businesses ask me, you mean you were actually over 500 or more cadets and you're still graduating on time, you still kept your studies? And they think that's uh, amazing, it's almost out, it's outstanding. And I don't know many other places where you can get the type of managerial type training that you learn about in the classroom and go back to the dorm room and practice it. The core kind of, it helped me to, to, to grow. It, it definitely helped me to grow. It made me realize that the things I do, I'm going to have to decide to do them and go for it with all I've got. When I got in the core, I did not know anything about it. I did not know what I was getting myself into. And the first few weeks were, were, were kind of rough, not necessarily what I had to go through, but just kind of deciding, well, am I going to stay in this and stick with it, or am I going to pull out? You've got to be proud, you've got to be motivated, and you've got to want to be the best to put on a uniform. And that's what it means to be in the Corps. I think that we have the sharpest uniforms uh, anywhere. I, I think the, the uniforms that we wear are extremely good looking. When you wear something that looks good, it gives you a little bit of self-pride. And especially when you get to the same uniform. There aren't many places you can go and see people walking around in riding boots, riding pants, and a military in a military-type uniform. Yeah, it's incredible. You've got 35,000 students at this university, and uh, I'm sure the professor will notice you. And he'll know that you're in the Corps and that you're going through a lot. I think the student body really notices you a lot also. All the activities and events that you participate in the Corps are very visible and other students and alumni and professors even that see you sitting in class with a uniform on, they, they sit there and all they see is what you do physically. It's because you have a lot of people who come here who were not that outstanding in high school as far as positions, uh, achieving, uh, exerting themselves in high school. They get in the Corps and they see a chance to do something. They said, well, I can become a battalion commander. I can become a member of the Ross Volunteers or to be a fish drill team member. So they can get something out of the Corps that they didn't get when they were in high school. The Ross Volunteers is the oldest student organization in Texas. Its functions include like drill performing and escorting VIPs on campus. And it serves as the governor's personal honor guard. And they're chosen to represent basically the most outstanding and the well-rounded, sharpest cadets. I think I need the core as, just as well as it needs me. I, I think it's a mutual thing. There are some things I've accomplished at this university that I would not have done had I not been in the Corps of Cadets. I can even go so far say I would not have become class president had I not been in the Corps of Cadets.
Well, coming in from high school, I, uh, my high school career really wasn't all that difficult. I found grades came fairly easy for me. Uh, here at A&M, I'm not going to try to kid you, A&M is, is a difficult place to learn, but the prestige is almost unequaled. And if you can come out of here with a degree at A&M, you've got something. You've got something to hold on to and say, look, I did this. I think that if it were not for the Corps, if it were not for the Corps holding my hand just a little bit, and guiding me through those first couple of years with uh, CQ, call the quarters in other words, uh, seeing that I studied every night, I think that set my academic study habits. The most valuable thing that I learned here was interpersonal, interpersonal relationships. I've had myself uh, in my career here, I believe I've had four roommates. Every one has been a new different experience. Can you, can you imagine living with four different people in the span of, you know, three years? It was really a challenge because uh, I myself was kind of a kind of a loner, kind of someone who kind of stand off from the crowdish type of individual, and I since learned how to come sort of come out of my shell. Social life in the core is a lot of fun, and the friends that you make in the core will be forever. The march of the Brazos is similar to a walkathon in the fact that the cadets go out. They have to get the pledges from, the, from different people around the community. Then they do the march, and then they collect however much money per mile. You're helping out the March of Dimes in one sense, but then you're going out there and you're having a good time. You're getting the whole corps together. It's kind of a social event in a sense, you know. There are a lot of students that are attracted to the university just because of this tradition. And when a university can attract good students because of its tradition, I think that's outstanding. I think that's saying quite a bit about the university. We use a term at A&M called good bull, and good bull is best exemplified through the Aggie bonfire. Wood is cut and stacked by the Aggies, and the bonfire is held each year to demonstrate or symbolize the Aggies' desire to beat the hell out of TU. All the work and everything that's done is done in the name of Good Bull. It's, it comes with, well, with being an Aggie and always being an Aggie and the spirit and the togetherness that Aggies have with each other and the camaraderie that is only A&M. And it's something that it's a way of really coming together as Aggies, well, like on muster, and just feeling that Aggie spirit again. And it's really something that's very uplifting and that you have to really experience. It's like hearing the Aggie band play. It kind of makes your heart jump. Gives you goosebumps all over. It's just really a good feeling. Texas A&M impresses parents. It's, it's fairly conservative. It's conservative. It's a nice campus. It's, and it's a nice place to send your kids to go to school. When you have students in the Corps of Cadets, every time you come on this campus, it's Parents Day. They welcome you. You walk into the dorm, they're glad to see you. They want you to be part of it. And that has been the most special thing of these four years for us. Parents Day is one of our biggest Aggie traditions. I think it's really a chance for the Aggies to get out and honor their parents, and it's a good opportunity to thank them for everything that their parents have done for them. It's a good place to, and time to share with our parents all of our accomplishments that we've had here in the Corps and at the University. There's Corps awards given at outfit, group, wing level, as well as all over the Corps. I find it a really great opportunity just to get to know my parents. The university offers the high academic possibility and the core completes the whole individual. It's the total rounding of the personality. As a parent, I couldn't be more pleased with what we've had here. A goal of the cadets is to develop leaders. I think this is uh, probably even though that we're a small part, we're only 8% of the student body, 
we are still a very visible part of it. I think that we hold about 35% of all the positions held in student organizations. Uh, this ranges from class officers to senators, fish camp counselors, and club positions. And the student non-rigs, they expect that cadet to be a leader. And I think that's what being an Aggie is all about. Commissions to go into one of the branches of the armed services are encouraged here at A&M. The Corps was established to build leaders and to produce officers for the military. Texas A&M provided more officers in World War II than in any other school in the United States, and uh, now is one of the top commissioning schools in the country. One thing that I think is great about A&M and being here in the Corps is that the cadets get the best of both worlds, and that kind of comes in with if you get the military training and the social life. If the military does hold a future that appeals to you, then the A&M military tradition provides outstanding opportunities for your growth as a citizen and a soldier. The A&M experience provides you with a unique environment not available anywhere else. The structure of rigid military discipline and the variety of a major university make a stimulating combination. I think the best thing about the Corps is something that's intangible. It's, it's not necessarily the uniform, which is good. It's not necessarily something you can see. It's more or less something you can feel. The Corps definitely is the backbone of Texas a and We are the keepers of the spirit, the keepers of tradition. I've learned that, that uh, the truest Ags, the most sincere Aggies, are the old Ags. The guys who, the guys who graduated, you know, in the class of 38 or 42, whenever, they come up to you at a football game and they say, boy, my name is Dave Beavers, I'm class of 50, and boy, it's good to see a good Ag here, and you're in the core, and God, it's great. And, when I graduate. I think that's one of the, uh, especially in Texas, it is, it is one of the most honorable things you can say is, I am an Aggie. When you say, I am an Aggie, uh, it carries a little bit more content than just saying I graduated from this university. It said, I went through just a little bit more than the average student did. I participated in my school. My spirit was a little bit more intense. I, I uh, carried out my activities with just a little bit more vigor. I care about my fellow Aggie. I think the best lesson I've had from the Corps of Cadets, over and above really all the rest, is the chance to improve myself, to know myself, and to develop the capability to deal better with the world around me. challenge and if you want something that's going to change you I think that the Corps cadets is the place that you need to be and I thought if I can make it to the Corps I can make it in life <laughs> 